to micromanage or not to micromanage? That is the question. I've got some thoughts on that coming up. Welcome to Job Tips, the career development channel. So whether you should micromanage someone, if you're a manager or if you have employees, if you're a supervisor, or you should allow them to use their creativity, and when should you apply either method of managing people? Because both are appropriate and both are effective. So the kinds of work that you might micromanage someone would be in specific step-by-step -step process work. And so the micromanaging is giving them an exact process that they must follow for the mission to be successful, for the product to be built, for the service to be properly completed based on the company's guidelines and based on how you want things to be completed. You want certain outcomes every single time then you need to have a step-by-step -step exact process for everything along those lines. For example, let's say you've been to McDonald's, been to McDonald's fast food, West Coast, East Coast, anywhere in the world. In most cases, <clears throat> the Big Mac and McDonald's in California tastes like the Big Mac and McDonald's in New York and anywhere in between because they have a micromanaging process where they tell every step that must be done to all the employees. There's a specific, for you couldn't bake a cake unless you follow an exact formula if you want the exact results in that cookbook to be exact. You must follow the exact process. And it becomes rather irritating, go back to the McDonald's example, or any national fast food chain, if you don't get consistent quality from one visit to the next. Oh my goodness, if you get the same product, for example, but it's ta it tastes different or it has a different texture to it or it's just it's not the same, you don't know what to expect. So if you as an employer or as a manager want to have a, an easy to know what to expect, that's a horrible way of putting it, result that you would micromanage and have those processes in place. Also, in cases where it's a manufacturing process, uh, you're not going to build a car without everything done ex being done exactly as designed to ensure that that car is being built properly. I wouldn't want to fly on an airplane if I thought that, well, the employees who put this thing together had all sorts of creative flexibility in how they put this thing together. I'm not getting on that airplane. I hope that those people had a process somewhat of a micromanaging process to follow. Now, there's a difference in process micromanaging and looking over the shoulder, always staring at someone while they're working micromanaging. This is where you step back a little bit, give them some space, okay? That's a little bit different. That's an irritating micromanaging and that's always terrible, <laughs> okay? So when would you not want to micromanage? Quite specifically, where creativity is involved. That's where you would hire people who have a creative mind and are allowed to use that creativity to be successful. Oftentimes people in sales and marketing, advertising, which is marketing, graphic arts, those kinds of fields and others that flourish when the creativity of the employee is allowed to expand and to be used. Those are cases where you do not want to micromanage. If you want to be sure that you don't have success among those people, then micromanage them like crazy and you'll find them quitting because those kinds of jobs require that the individual have a lot of flexibility, autonomy, self-control, and ability to do their work and to be creative in their expression. Okay? And hey, as long as you're getting the results that you want, let them be creative. Now, if they're being creative and you're not getting the results that you want, then maybe you should put some things in place to maybe not micromanage, but to give them a little, a little bit more, um, a little more boxed in, if you will, so they can operate within certain parameters, <laughs> but then let them be creative within those parameters. Okay. So very short video. I hope it gives you some thoughts, some things to think about in terms of your management style. So if you are a micromanager, you should allow people to be creative. Well, maybe 
right? It's time to back off a little bit, right? But if you are not micromanaging and you allow people to be creative where they should be more closely managed, well, then maybe you can sort of tweak that a little bit. But don't be afraid of the word micromanager. Here's why I say this. Oftentimes, the word micromanager is used in a negative light, and it doesn't have to be. It's appropriate at certain times, okay? Just don't use it all the time. Well, that's it for job tips. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you have the kind of job or career that you want to have.